today I'm going to give you guys my very first update for my Pan 9 in 2019. Hey guys, it's April and welcome back to my channel. Before I get started with this video, I just want to remind you guys to hit the subscribe button down below. I'd really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. So let's just get started with today's video. Okay, so as most of you may know, if you guys have been subscribed to my channel since before New Year's, I guess, um, I am doing a Project Pan 9 in 2019 for the year 2019. Surprise, surprise. Um, so I'm just going to give you guys my very first update. This is roughly like a three month update. So I did pan two items so far and you guys will, if you guys watch all my videos or my empties videos, you guys will be seeing those again in my empties video which will go up on I believe April 1st or April 2nd. And um, so you guys will be seeing those two items again but I'm going to show you guys them here first. The first item that I panned was the Too Faced Cocoa Powder Foundation. This is a... Um, it's a powder foundation, so it's going to give you like a bit more heavier of a coverage. So if you guys are looking for a more medium to full coverage, this is really good for that. Um, for a full coverage, I actually had to layer this on top of a liquid foundation to get the full coverage. But if I use this by itself, it still did a really good job at just doing, um, I'd say like a medium coverage. And this was in the shade Medium, and I really enjoyed the packaging of this. Too Faced always has the cutest packaging ever. And um, so I'll show you guys what it looks like. So it is completely panned. There is no more product in here. And I'm really happy that I was able to pan it because this was like one of my like biggest goals was to pan this. So I'm really excited that I finally panned it. A few days later, I ended up panning this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder, which I really wanted to pan. This was in the shade Precious Petals. And the reason why I wanted to pan it is because I accidentally broke the lid off. So it made it really hard like putting it in a makeup bag or in my caboodle because sometimes the lid would fall off and then brushes would sometimes scrape on it or something. And it was just a hot mess, you guys. So yeah, so I'm really happy I was able to pan this. This is what it looks like completely pan and I'm really excited. I do have a backup of this and I also have a miniature version of the Milani highlight that I got as a free gift with purchase at Ulta not too long ago. And then I also got a miniature like highlight sample from one of my Ipsy bags recently. So I do have enough highlights and I'm not going to be purchasing this again since I already have a backup of this. But I really love this highlight. It has amazing quality and for honestly only $5 like you can't not recommend this. It's just amazing and I get so many compliments when I wear this saying like that it has such a beautiful glow to my face and I feel like this is a really good shade for my face so I really like this. Up next I have the e.l.f. blush. This is in the shade Mellow Mauve and this is almost completely panned you guys. I'd say that by mid-April it should be done if not sooner I'm hoping. So I'm really excited that this is almost completely panned. So that's really exciting because I have two more blushes that I'm trying to pan before the end of the year, which I'll show you guys right now. So the first one I have here is the Clinique blush. This is in the shade Sunset Glow. I've only used this a couple times and the color is really pretty. So I just want to kind of get this, you know, done and out of my collection. And then up next I have the NARS Orgasm blush. This is a miniature that I got. I think I got it. Yeah, it was a birthday gift from Ulta, I believe. And it's so tiny and cute and adorable. <laughs> And it's just literally the cutest thing ever. Um, I don't think I've used this at all yet. If I did, it was one time, but um, yeah, I'm really excited to finally start getting to use this. Up next, I have my mini Hoola bronzer. I have not hit pan, but I do use this every day. And when I, po when I posted my video about the 9 in 2018, a lot of people were telling me that it took a long time for them to pan their Hoola bronzer. So now I'm a little bit worried that I picked this product to do for my project pan, but if it's not completely panned by the end of 2019, it's not the worst thing ever because then that just means I'm able to bring it into 2020, which is totally fine. But I really do like this bronzer a lot. Up next, I have the Fresh Sugar Lip Polish. This is a sugar lip scrub and I've been using this a lot more recently. So if you guys can remember from my first video, this wasn't, I don't even think it was panned at all when I first showed this to you guys, but it's definitely panned and I definitely think we'll have this finished by the end of the year. And then with that, I also have its twin. This is the Fresh Sugar Nourishing Lip Balm Advanced Therapy. And again, I don't think this was panned when I first started, but it's definitely panned now. So I'm hoping that I finish these two products around the same time as each other because they do go really well together. And then the last product is a total bummer for me, you guys. I really didn't want to have to do this, but 
I got this. This is the Catrice Cosmetics eyeshadow in the shade Luminous Lilac, and this is what it looks like. And when I first swatched it and wore it the first like few times, I was like, wow, this is amazing. But then I realized that the color was just not staying on. I wear the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer every single time that I wear eyeshadow, and even with that, it just does not stay on, or it'll go on unevenly, and it just does not look good. I'll swatch it for you guys. And it's pretty, but it's just so like splotchy, and I feel like the color just it goes on kind of splotchy and I just I really had to stop wearing it because I just couldn't take it anymore I didn't like how the color looked on my eyes and I just couldn't see wearing this on my eyes for the rest of the year till it was panned it would drive me crazy so I think I'm gonna give this away to my mom or somebody who would appreciate it more and I'm going to be switching this out with the alternative rock volume 1 shadow faro or shadow fard this is by the Balm Cosmetics, and this is in the shade Take It For Granted, and it is so pretty, you guys. I'm going to swatch it for you guys real quick. It's this shade right here, and it kind of has like a purpley gray to it, so I'm kind of switching it out for just a, like a better version, I feel like, of what I was originally trying to go for, and it's so shimmery and shiny, and I feel like the quality of this is really nice, and this is also a color I could probably put in my inner corners if I'm trying to do a little bit more bold of a look and I feel like this is a color I could see myself wearing a lot more often plus I really love cool tones and it still has that purple in it that I like just the quality is so much better and I feel like I'll have more fun using this one up more than this one up this year so I am switching over to a different eyeshadow and so yeah that is it for my first update of my project pan 9 in 2019 if you guys like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up you guys are awesome let me know in the comments below if you guys are doing a project pan 9 in 2019 or 19 in 2019 i didn't do 19 because i felt like that'd be like way too hard i did do nine but yeah so just let me know in the comments below if you guys are doing that i'd love to know let me know about your progress thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you guys have a glamorous rest of your day bye